Before I made a video on Cisco interface range command and Atula asked me recently, is there a command for putting multiple ports on multiple VLANs? So I'm going to answer that question in this video. Also, I'm going to cover a little more tips and tricks with regard to interface range command I didn't cover in this video. And also, I'm going to cover how the interface range command differ between Cisco platform. For example, Cisco iOS versus Nexus OS. So let's get started and answer his question. So let me go into the enable mode and see what VLANs I have first. Show VLAN. I do have VLAN 10 to 20 and rest are default VLANs. Let's look at what are the VLANs on the port. Show int status and all the ports are in VLAN 1, have 1 to 48 and gig 1 to 4. And let's try a range. Conf T int range FA 101 to Five FA one zero seven two nine. When you have multiple range, you need to have a comma to separate them. And you can have a space or you don't have to have a space. So let me try a space between them FA one zero eleven to twelve. And let's try a space after the comma, FA 14 to 15. Let's try a space before the comma, FA 17 to 20. You see, all of them works. So now you are in the interface range, and in the interface range, all these ports are covered. So when you make a VLAN change here, switch port, access VLAN 10, you only can put all these ports into VLAN 10. You cannot include another VLAN if it is an access port. Access port can have only one VLAN. Only trunk ports can have multiple VLANs. I will show you how to do a range command on a trunk port. But with regard to access, you can have only one VLAN. That's why there is no command. You can use multiple range and multiple VLAN in just one command. So let me put all these in VLAN 10. So all these ports now in VLAN 10. Even though you cannot use a single range command to put multiple ports on multiple VLANs, you can use your previous commands by just hitting the up arrow or down arrow key and go back to your previous command. So I'm going to hit the down arrow key here and go to my previous command. You see here, this is a very long command. So that's why the front part is not here. But you know, here you have the front part. That is, you started with 101 to 5. So this is the second set of port. So say if you want to go to the previous command, hit the backspace, and then you got the first command. Say you want to put port 21 to 27 into VLAN 20, and now just hit the up arrow and get to the VLAN command here, here 20, and now these ports are on VLAN 20. So this way you can quickly go back to your previous command and change the VLAN. So now we answered his question. So let's look at some more tips and tricks you can use with the range command. So let's go back to my previous command. So int range, instead of FA, you can use just F. One, zero, one, two, two, five, F, one, zero, 7 to 10, it will still work. Also, you can use the full description of the port. Say, 
if a fast ethernet 10126 fast ethernet 10910 this will also work to do it faster you always going to prefer the shortest version that is f also you can use a single port with this range say in my previous command if i want to put just fa1017 onto vlan 10 that will also work so let me go to the vlan command that's vlan 10 all right so that's also an option in the interface range command so now let's look at how you can use the interface range command for the trunk ports let me go here show int status and in here i have four gig ports and only two have the optics so i'm going to use three and four conf t int range gig one zero three two four so now i am in the interface range so switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q switch port mode trunk switch port access vlan add 10 to 20 invalid input detected okay not access switch port trunk allowed vlan add 10 to 20 basically you know even though i made a mistake here i basically showed here you cannot add multiple vlans with this access port command so now we answered his question and let's go to how the interface range command between Cisco iOS and Nexus OS. I don't have a Nexus switch here right now in my lab, but I did a session log when I was doing this in the Nexus OS environment. In the Nexus OS environment, you basically cannot use the range keyword. If I use a range keyword here, you see, I get an invalid command message. In the Nexus OS, what you have to do is int, there's no range, and then you type your interface for the range. So here, instead of Ethernet, I am typing E, one slash two to three, that is port two to three, four to five, and a single port six. And now you can put your configuration in this range. And you also can use, instead of E, you can use eat also. That's a little longer version of your command. Eat two to three. And you can use multiple range here with eat also. And you can use like a fast ethernet, you can use ethernet here, the full interface command and put your range two to three, four to five and six. And that will also work. The easiest and fastest is just use E. If you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification so you will be notified when I have my next video. All right, thanks, bye.